Hello, this is Gary from VR Roundtable again, and I'm about to play Dimension Hunter, which is a new game that's just come out. This is just a demo, I believe. I think the full game might be coming out, or this might be it. I've not really looked into it. It was one that I heard about, and uh, just thought I'd download it and have a quick look at. So, the aesthetic of this, I've only very briefly gone into this, just a couple of minutes. Um, so, the aesthetic on this is something that really stands out. Got um, not this comic book type feel really, <laughs> and it's really cool. It does uh, definitely have a unique quality in terms of graphic style. And you've got this uh, little hood area that where you feel like you're wearing, I don't know, where you feel like you're wearing a, uh, a helmet of some description, and you can change your gun to different things. Oops. You're just supposed to dodge out of the way. I'm not doing a very good job of it, but that's the idea. And from what I was reading about this on Upload VR, um, it's really a game where that was created by um, a, sort of a, a teacher a lecturer or something in uh, game design or something like that and this was a game that him and his students put together so I guess it's um, another wave shooter type game really you're on rails so you don't actually do any movement yourself but it works very well and as I say it's really the aesthetic of this game that makes it stand out more than anything else got all these captions that appear around you so you've seen all the uh, things like it'll say doom and all these kind of things when you're in certain in certain contexts <laughs> argh I don't know if I can shoot those Try some of these other weapons and see what you can do. Oh, that's a uh, charging. Oops. Yeah, excellent, excellent aesthetic. I keep saying aesthetic, I probably should stop. Quite difficult, I've got to say. You can, uh, get killed pretty quickly in this game. I'm not doing a good job of the uh, ducking and dodging out of the way, but the bullets come quite quickly, so I guess that's the challenge. Music's pretty good as well, fits the uh, tone of the game quite well. Everything about it is very well done actually. It's quite limited in what it actually is, you know, I mean it's a basic game really, but it does what it does very well. And these are just first impressions, in mind have a lot more to it a little bit later and I don't know it doesn't seem like that kind of game it seems like this is pretty much it but we'll see or maybe we won't because I, I doubt I'll get very far through <laughs> this is the problem with VR you get sort of distracted very easy by just looking around you looking at your surroundings still the novelty patch is still there. And uh, you can't really concentrate on the game sometimes when the graphics really take your eye away from the action, but that's okay. I 
don't know if headshots count or if that doesn't make any difference. I died last time. Oh no. Work up a little bit of a sweat actually playing this game. I should really oh headshots do count then, so that works okay. This doesn't look good. <laughs> okay. Um but my voice is going a little bit, so I think I'll leave it there. But that's uh, Dimension Hunter anyway, just a very, very quick look at that game. You can see what it's all about. Works very well, really. Um, as I say, the graphics are exceptionally good. Really, uh, well, exceptionally good in their context, I suppose I should say. They work very well, and the music and sound is very good as well. So give it a go. It's a uh, free little download at the moment, so nothing to lose. And... Uh, Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.